Hello everybody, it's the Farm Sim Guy back here on Erlengrat in FS22. We are going to give you a little bit of a rundown now of animals in FS22. I haven't seen too many videos about this yet, so I thought I'd pull one together for you, give you a little bit of the background, let you understand it so that when you hit the game in the next 24 hours, hopefully, you'll know what you are doing. So we have grabbed ourselves a little bit of a field here. We've covered it in tarmac and we have grabbed some of the sheds from the building uh, tools. We've got the biggest cow shed there with the robotic feeder, which is awesome. I can't wait to show you that. We've got horses, we've got pigs, we've got sheep, we've got chickens tucked away down in the end, and we have got a smaller cow pasture just over there because one of the things you will notice with these sheds is they all have all got built-in water supplies, so you do not need to worry about filling them up with water, which is a fantastic uh, improvement. What we do also have is a, a range of different feeds compared to FS19 as well. So I've dumped a load of different things on the floor and we'll work through them one by one. But first and foremost, let's start with the cows because they're the biggest and uh, the most interesting. Um, I am going to quickly go over to here first though because we've got ourselves a little tractor. I just want to show you in the pasture here. Um, you have got uh, a water icon which you won't see in some of the other buildings and some of the bigger buildings. This is your purchase animal point, so you just hit the R button as you would in uh, the older games. But one of the things that's well worth checking out when you do get the game is the quality of the animations of the animals. It's absolutely fantastic, a huge step forward, really, really animated. Uh, they lie down, they stand up, they scratch themselves. Uh, the tails wag, they trot over when there's food available. So what we'll do very quickly is we will fill up things. So we've got a water tank here. Oh, I forgot, we've also got bees to show you, which seem to be a very straightforward uh, option. So you just pull over the water stop and you'll see the trigger will activate any second now. There it is. So just hit the I button, fill up the water trough. Like I said, in the bigger buildings, that is not something you need to worry about. Um, but uh, great to see here. So there we go. We'll just put a little bit of water in there and we will park this up. This is the lovely little fent. It's kind of part of the grape and olive uh, tractors. But I thought I'd give it a go just because. Trying new stuff all the time. Okay, we have just jumped into our class wheel loader here. We are going to fill up some... Uh, stuff in the care pen. Now, I want to show you something interesting. Let me just jump to the animal menu here. If you look at the cow pasture here, if you look at the food types here now, silage doesn't exist as a food type anymore. You have got total mixed ration, you've got hay, and you've got grass as options. I don't have any TMR mixed at the moment, so what we're going to do is just take a little bit of hay here, run this over to the cows, and uh, feed them over there. So yes, interestingly, silage as a raw product is no longer used for cattle, um, which is a big change from 19. So we should be able to roll this over here and tip. There we go. That is filling the feed box there. So those cows will be happening. Look, there's one of them running to see the food. Very nice. Anyway, that is all you need to do with the pastures. Now, with this here, this is the robot feeding machine. And what you've got to put in here, and I do like these sheds because it's labelled nicely, we have got hay, straw, silage, and you can also add in minerals, mineral feed as well, which can be purchased from the shop, and it looks like this on the pallets. And then once everything's uh, in here and you've piled some of the stuff up like we have got here, as you can see, we've got um, a lot of hay, straw and silage in here. It goes quiet for a while and that is while it produces it. So actually it will trigger automatically. You can't open this door, you can't switch this on. So you might think uh, you need to do something, but actually it's just a case of sitting and waiting. I sped time up a little bit there and as you can see now, the uh, this net cover has come down while the machine operates and it's taking some silage there it will load that in there we go and then it will move along to the next one so this set feeding times I guess maybe when the cows have run out it will go and get some more but then it will run over to get the straw now as well 
pick that up and it will do the same with the hay and when that is done we shall show you what happens next i'm going to uh, just skip time because you've seen how the robot arm works but it's going to pick up the hay now and then come back and then we will wait by the door here and there we go the door opens and here comes our little robot and he disappears around the corner here you can see the net uh, cover has opened as well he heads inside here let me see if I can get a good vantage point for you there he comes inside heads down the feed passage here and he heads down the outside uh, sets himself up at this end and then unloads all the way back so uh, we'll skip uh, as he's quite slow uh, until he's reached the end there we go he has moved into position now and he is unloading you can see the animation as it unloads um, small amount here at the moment but it's uh, enough to keep the cows happy and I think it'll do that on a regular basis when it is finished it just pops itself back into its little cupboard and uh, waits for the next time that cows need feeding really 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 clever clever little thing and uh, takes the pressure off having to uh, remember to feed your cows of course you've got to have stuff in the shed to uh, uh, make sure that it can mix it but there you go clever 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 tool it is an expensive shed it's seven hundred and seventy five thousand dollars or pounds or euros depending on uh, what uh, currency you're in but uh, there you go tucked away until the next time it needs topping up so you can make sure you fill up your uh, your silage your hay and your straw uh, and then it's all systems go um so that's about it for cares um here's your load point for your slurry um when you need that uh, and down at the other end is your manure point in here you can see uh, we don't have any straw but you can obviously put straw down for bedding as well which is great so there you go cows very similar to last time but uh, just ever so slightly tweaked uh, and improved and I think there's some lovely lovely additions there and again I will say check out the animations on these things they're absolutely beautiful the fur on them the animations the way they sit down and stand up a lot more character to them really like the cows in fact all the animal models are brilliant okay that's the end of cows let's have a look at some horses so here we go a lot of different range of horses to choose from as per last time beautiful animations again as you would expect uh, there is your animal buy point so you've got eight different choices of horses there to pick from really really nice uh, you can click on these still um, you can't rename them now I don't think which you could in the old game so that's different uh, but basically horses need oats and they need straw and hay so let's go and have a look at them. in fact I must say to you as well horses now you can use sorghum so as well as oats you can use sorghum so the new crop actually has a purpose and a use um, we'll touch on it as well with um, chickens as well because they can use it as a feed now so we'll grab a little bit of hay for the horses in our wheel loader obviously loading wagons and trailers and everything will work as well I've just set it up like this for ease for demoing the video but uh, some hay in for the horses they don't need water as well these are already plumbed there we go hay tipped the horse have a little bit of hay in there we'll go and get a, a little bit of oats as well and then we are done very simple horses horses remain a very very good source of income so oats in with the hay just enough to keep them happy uh, like I said very very simple but you've got storage there if you want to use bales as well you don't have to use it loose but uh, nice to see horses very very simple and very very lucrative 
Now, if you think horses were easy to look after, pigs are even easier. They take pretty much any food you want to throw at them. So let's just jump in here and show us the pigs. Um, you've got grain, protein, root crops, and base food. So uh, a mixture of corn and sorghum with wheat and barley, soybeans, canola and sunflowers, and potatoes and sugar beet. If you mix all of those together, your pigs will perform admirably. So well worth uh, having a play with the different types of crops. And again, you can see sorghum in there. So that new base crop, really handy to have. Um, we've actually mixed some pig food as an output. You can buy this from the store as well. Um, just for this demo to speed things up but again you can have some fun producing that using production chains but we will just top up this there we go we'll get this dumped in but that is as simple as that for the pigs you can add straw as well if you want manure or you can just leave it as slurry entirely up to you just drop this at this tip point here and it will go into their feed troughs there we go unloaded pigs fed oh we've got an escapee we have got an escaped pig did you see those what's going on there did we leave a gate open or something how very odd that was fun they're excited they're getting fed. Um, I think there might be a little bit of a glitch here. We could feed this back to giants. But it's good fun. But yes, there we go. Pigs, very, very easy and effective to uh, look after. And they might just escape as well, which is quite cool. Moving on, we have got our sheep. And again, these new animations and models of the sheep are really, really nice. I love the way they sit down, the fact that they're chewing. Um, great stuff. Look, there's one just sat down in front of us as one gets up over here. Brilliant stuff. Again, with the sheep, very, very easy to look after. Um, let's pull them up here. Uh, they just need grass or hay. Uh, and that is it. And they churn out lots of wool. Again, this shed uh, is already plumbed for water, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, so what we'll do, we'll just top them up with a little bit of hay. And that is that. Simple and effective. Uh, the only time you will need to notice, and again it will become a thing when modders start to produce sheds for us, if they don't plumb the water in and they choose to uh, leave that as an option for you, you will see that water dropper uh, sign that we saw on the cow pasture earlier on. That's how you'll know that you'll need to add your own water in. But Hopefully, a lot of people will just add it in as a, an option. Let's be honest, it's 2021, right? Most cow barns have got uh, water plumbed into them in this day and age. But there we go, a little bit of hay added. That is the sheep happy and good to go. So there you go, sheep, fantastic. Our penultimate look is at the chickens again. If you've used chickens before, pretty cost-effective way of running animals. Um, nice sheds as well. These giving you a good idea of these lovely sheds that have uh, come in the base game for 22. Um, we've put a cockerel in there with a load of hens. So again, they will reproduce relatively quickly as well. But if you don't want to, you can just use the hens and create uh, eggs. But uh, again, as with the sheep, very, very easy to look after. If we scroll down here, just wheat, barley or sorghum. Or a mixture of all three if you want, uh, depending on what you've got. So uh, nice, uh, nice again to see sorghum being used uh, as a feed type. It makes it practical uh, as a crop to start harvesting. Uh, we've got a little pile of it over here, just so you know what it looks like. Uh, but we'll feed our little chickens. And that is uh, all bar bees looked at. So we'll jump in and have a look at bees after we've topped up our chickens with a bit of sorghum. So there we go, we've got a load of sorghum in here, as you can see, a very bright orange in colour. Um, and we will just roll this over here, our pigs are still running around outside, it's all going off. Our sheep didn't run around and got excited when they get fed, those pigs must have been really hungry. 
So we just run over to here. And we tip our food into the point, like so. And that is your chickens fed. Very easy. You can open the doors here and just check everything's all right. Look at them sitting down in here. They're quite comfortable. And now paranoid about leaving doors open, just in case they escape. But there we go. Uh, again, a nice look at these fantastic base game sheds, the Horman sheds. They're really, really nicely finished off. Detail is fantastic on them. And last, but by no means least, apart from escaping pigs, let's go and check out the bees. So bees are super, super simple. I've gone for the largest hive here uh, at 19,000 euros. Uh, and again, the other thing you need to place is a honey pallet location. As you can see, we've put ours next to them and it only allows you one per farm. Uh, but that is where your honey will appear. Let's put another one of these down, shall we? And it's as simple as that, and they just get on with it. Now, depending on where you place these or which crops you have in your field, it will have a bonus effect on the yield of your crops as well. I think canola and sunflowers are prime ones for that, but um, uh, they have a benefit to your crops as well, which is fantastic. And there you go. There is the honey in the jars. Uh, you can pick that up when it's not a full pallet. When it becomes a full pallet, it gets too heavy. But there's your honey. You can uh, take that and use it in many different production facilities or just sell it as honey. Um, so there we go. Uh, a very quick overview of all the animals and the new sheds. I hope you like that. Um, for me, it's got me excited. I think there's a lot more to do here, and a lot more to keep your interest in animals in FS22. The new animations are absolutely gorgeous, and uh, I, for one, am excited to get stuck into having a little bit of a, a play around with these, but I can see animals being uh, a lot more a part of uh, some of the farms and some of the gameplay as we move forward with FS22. So I hope that was useful. I hope that gives you a little bit of an overview of the animals. Like I said, not something I've seen huge amount of videos on so I thought I'd share it with you as part of this series of introducing you to the game ahead of launch on Monday but for now from me the farm sim guy I hope that was useful thank you very very much for watching thank you for all your support over this uh, pre-launch weekend the numbers have been incredible and I can't thank you enough for that uh, and I will see you all again very soon bye for now <laughs>